All right, this next exercise is for the internal rotator cuff called the subscapularis specifically. What you need is to have your client adjusted down on the floor using a stability ball. So as you can see, we have Della here. Her arm, her humerus is up onto a level ball according to her height with a 90 degree elbow bend and an elastic tube anchored to a stable po point. From here, she starts and rotates down and holds it where there's enough tension that she's capable of holding it there for five seconds and then slowly rotates back. Keep doing that, Della, while I explain the rest of the exercise. The key point is you must stay down there for five seconds. Right, Della? <laughs> right. So stay down there for five seconds and then slowly return up. Now, the reason the ball is there is it's very comfortable for people to do these monotonous exercises in front of televisions. People need their minds to be uh, preoccupied so that they are more likely to stick to the exercise. And bring it back up. Good. Now you want to change angles so that you strengthen the rotator cuff from all angles. So we're going to reposition Della now. So Della, bring the arm down, ball to the side, and now you'll see Della's arm is no longer out in front but on an oblique angle. So Della, go ahead, rotate down, and hold it there for five seconds. So again, great strengthening of the exercise. You want to do all three angles. The last angle, bring it back up, is with Della now facing this direction. Good, so now her shoulder is abducted and she does her internal rotation. Again, this is internal rotation strengthening the subscapularis. Good job, Della. Thanks.